Okay, and welcome to this second video on using digital for recruitment and marketing, no expertise needed. This will be about exploiting video for helping to promote your side. There's two examples just shown, two slightly different takes um, that I'd be, I made um, a while ago for Poacher Morris, who provided a great team finder profile and have hashtags and, and the like. And I'll be working on uh, not just making these, but also exploring ways of uh, understanding YouTube algorithms so that these are fine, are easily found. So in the first talk we identified how you might update your profile, your wrote information about your, your team, your target audience, you've got a great photo, you've added some um, profile, added some photos such as by those by Douglas Moriarty, but you know that videos can help enhance your site's visibility. So you might have video something like this we've probably all got things like this and look at this this was had nine views um even though it was three years old and only nine views there might be some reasons for this it was published three years after the event itself it's not got a team name and i would say we don't really care about this because hey market isn't looking to recruit people we're an old people who dance with the Kingsmen in previous years we don't we know them and the like but if it was recruitment we'd have to say well we need to do something so we're going to cover about the things that you can do so you get views this is going to be based on some of my experience with Morris Fed Zoom workshop recordings. So the workshops are being recorded, shared on YouTube, and I got involved with processing a backlog of videos. And you can quickly find these using the hash Morris Fed video Google search term, 76 results, and we'll find things like a beginner's workshop published 2021 only 46 views and then an example of one i uh, edited and promoted 2023 eight months ago it's got 80 views some reasons why there might be a bit more uh, views i st we started to make greater use of key moments or timestamps so you can see go directly into particular bits of interest and timestamps can be useful they can be googleable as well if you want to fit do some uh, something to say an ikea object and you don't know how to assemble it if you just google it there'll be a youtube video and you go straight to the to the bit of interest and this is really really popular because youtube is the second i think most widely used search tool because people do searching using videos. It's really, really important. So let's look at some of the evidence of the Morris Fed website. So up till a few weeks ago, so I think uh, up to November, there were over 10,000 views in the year. So that's 60 hours, four days of people viewing in 11 months. The top three were all published in April, March or April 2020. So these have something in common. And then the next was one I made back in July. And this is where I was keen on seeing how to get a, a popular um, video. And I was slightly disappointed when I realized that I was beaten by these three. So what is special about these three? Initially, I thought, is it the quality of the video? Is it the video editing? Is it the content? Or is there something else? And guess what? It was something else. And I was surprised. I learned a lot from this. So here is the numbers of views this year, 11 months. As you can see, on average, there's two a day, which is good for that length of period. So that resulted in the third highest views in this year, the second most ever. But how do people find that video? of something that happened a few years ago. <clears throat> Here's the growth 
in traffic and as you can see we had the over that was this period so there's been what appears to be a similar type of growth two to three a day for a few years so there was initial peak and then this long tail of views why is that it's all content i was a bit surprised at that so i looked a bit more how do people view it only a small proportion go directly to it i'm interested in this video and i'm going to go directly to it. it's a small proportion there were people on google search which means things like the title is important and the description is important but this external was really really important 46 percent so i looked a bit more and what i discovered it was a playlist if you do a search for isolation instructional you try it i found that this video was right at the top ahead of other isolation instructions a guy saying how to play the introduction to an isolation song isolation instruction about a super hooper phoneme isolation i don't know what these are but they're all linked with this and then i scrolled a bit more through these related things when i tried this a few months ago it was about covid isolation instructions but those have probably faded away and the videos that might have been deleted but i found some more there was a, uh, a electrical isolation a petri dish so there's no cross contamination but this was the interesting one the twerk challenge so 16k views just seven months ago let's look a bit more here's the video dan stockter she's got 63,000 subscribers that video has had 16,000 views just since april um, wow and so twerking challenge and field town instructions they're both instructions they're both about learning dancers both taught by a dance instructor so youtube's algorithms correctly identify these are related and so that's why our field town one i would say is so popular because it's associated with some of these other things which are popular but it's not necessarily going to attract new dancers <clears throat> another thing so that was one thing this was a different youtube this was a different zoom workshop about sword dancers i think and if you look at lots of views but if you look everybody leaves after the first few seconds and this is typical so here are the people who are interested but all of that traffic up there isn't of interest it's maybe about 90 percent got here by false pretenses this is the norm for many of the workshop videos so we need to be very careful about the numbers of views and that happens not just on youtube videos here was a short 34 second video, uh, video clip i made advertising this workshop and as you can see 55 unique views 80 views but people leave this again is the norm on videos on social media that's reality and so we need to accept reality and see how we can work with it and so i thought well if we started to think a bit more about playlists about related content we might rather than treating a video or something in isolation as part of a collection and they can build on each other we might get say a tenfold increase in the numbers of views and also if you think about it with these typical videos there might be an intro at the start the first few seconds 10 seconds up to 10 seconds 15 seconds will be about the sign say join uh, ghost and gallopers join us and then towards the end there'll be a here's the morris fed team finder and you can find other morris sides so fewer viewers but this is what the side itself might be of, of, of interesting and so we can potentially boost the audience by the approaches i'll describe but imagine that's just for one video imagine i made another one this video was for three sides so if we i made three clips as well so imagine with each clip we might get more and more total views aggregated views and if 
as I hope, publish, say, up to 100 short videos next year. And all of these things, new audiences and the like, we could potentially get 10,000 um, views. And so that means if there are 100 different sides, they all get a little bit, they all get the most, they all get this. But this thing here, which is find others, everyone who's each of those ones will see this find others. And so the team finder information, although it seems low, can be multiplied by seeing the same thing across different video clips. So that's an aim based upon the, the evidence and the goal. So based on the evidence, Timeless talks for it's important to get things published shortly, not just for workshops, but for dance events, recruitment evenings and the like. Length short is good, particularly on social media. And I would say two things, two minutes as I'm me making, but also 30 second videos. The first things you saw in the intro to this were two 30 second long videos. But people start to leave after 10 seconds, maybe. So try and re-engage their interest. Different figure, different sides, a different approach. Titles are, in, are of interest and are relevant, as are the descriptions. Hashtags discovered and discussed in the previous talk are important as well. And this aggregation, we're not just talking about your marketing videos, we're talking about collections of videos because Google and YouTube search work better with these collections of related uh, videos, related content, content, and also contact with others. Who can help us? It's not just you as an events person, a marketing person in your team. There are other people who can help and they might be other people in your organization, in your dance group. There might be, you know, video makers and there might be project managers and as well as the dancers and the like, or people who are loosely affiliated with your side or people who may be too old. They decide to retire from dancing, but want to continue to be involved. Maybe they can do some stuff here in various different ways. And when I said about it's not just number of people have had this, somebody contacted me and says, I did our own promotion promo, promo video, but didn't get the hits. 34 views in two months. It was a minute and a half long. It was some photos and a 10 second dance clip at the end. And it says, come along to our open evening. And there were only 34 views. And when I looked at that video, I thought, yes, it's because you've just done it on its own. There was no integration with the wider community. That was a, um, that was a good example of this. Um, I should also say I noticed that the Morris Fed's side use of YouTube seems to be low. Um, uh, maybe uh, people haven't been uploading videos, so maybe people have changed since lockdown or disillusionment with 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 figures or maybe videos are now being published on Facebook or on personal channels. So we need to think a bit more through this this evidence. But YouTube playlists are important. I was asked recently, can I add other side videos to uh, my YouTube channel? And the answer is yes, that's what you, it's what YouTube's about. They welcome this, what, more ways of getting to the content. So I recently created a playlist of Morris Fed side with YouTube channels. So there are 39 of these and I've added on this playlist, I've added the most recent videos. Uh, this is in alphabetical order, Adderbury, Ad Bells, Bow, Cardiff, Dr. Turbs, etc. And what I noticed when I looked at these was number of views were between 23 and almost 7,000. And the most recent videos were between two weeks old and 12 years old. So when I say some sides don't appear to be adding many videos, that seems to be the case uh, demonstrated by that evidence. And here is the, uh, this was the playlist and this was sorted in most popular videos. So this was the most popular Westminster Morris man. Uh, so 6.9 years old and that was views 12 years old. But with this playlist, we've now got established a relationship between these Morris Fed sides. And so if you just play the playlist, 
you'll go from this one to this one to this one and YouTube algorithms will know people who like this seem to like Morris dancing and then sometimes there's the randomizing you go to this Westminster you might go directly to the Westminster Morris man video and then it'll say here are some others that you might like not just these ones here but other Morris type videos so it's good if you've got a your site has a YouTube channel please add it to your profile and I will add it add your that details to the to this playlist which will benefit your playlist not just now but look in 12 but maybe in 12 years time the numbers of views will have grown significantly another approach with YouTube is not just the video of your side dancing but in some a story a two-minute story in this case related to Swanage Folk Festival so I got in touch with Swanage Folk Festival and I says could I make a short video featuring uh, some of the Morris Fed sides and they said yes that's fine they gave me the list of about 20 Morris Fed sides and I got in touch with about with uh, many of them and 10 agreed that I could use their videos in this way and I made three short videos here was an example of the first one Cotwell sides you'll notice that um, I provide a richer profile with using the hashtags using the links to the websites remember I mentioned in the previous talk about the value of links YouTube is a really popular website if there's a link from this really popular website to Mendip Morris websites that should enhance the Google visibility of the Mendip websites so there are these various techniques that I can use and I decided two minutes long 10 seconds about the festival because the festival will be keen on hosting there if it says the festival is really great then three clips of the dancers the dancers people in the dancing might well link to this which is good from the festival's point of view so it's win-win all the way around along and then at the end there were thanks so there were some nice photos included and a brief summary and then right at the end and it says and if you like this if it inspired you go to the Morris Vets team find the service but it was also this video was not just on YouTube it was also on the folk festival website and that's important now it's now been taken down so I've not got a screenshot but back in last spring I saw this and I, there was, and I said can if I make some videos can you add them on your website and they did so this was on the website and this was responsible for the popularity of this video not just on a YouTube channel but on a website as well so that is an importance for general traffic but also for specific traffic who goes to a folk festival website well folkies who are potential dancers and for most websites what might be the fine static photos but here we've got a bit of interaction so I think that's a win-win for Swanage for the Morris Fed and for the 10 sides that were featured in these clips and those videos were actually quite popular so between August and September the three videos that I made were in the top four of the Morris Fed videos so the twerking field towner and the other instruction was I managed to overtake them so I achieved that goal of demonstrating that a particular approach can prove popular and beneficial for exposure to those sides so I was very pleased with that um, and the other thing I started I learned a bit about was the timestamps I mentioned these previously so this is what you can see you just add these you just add start at 0, 0.00, .00 must be 10 seconds between each of them and it will automatically hopefully it doesn't always do this but it will automatically add these chapters so as you can see I did 18 seconds of Mendip 26 seconds of Garston uh, 27 of Serum 
a bit of a team finder and then the various uh, things. So these are some simple, really simple things that you can do to add some value to your YouTube click and hopefully the viewing, the, the viewing figures. And if there is an actionable content such as Google, Goss, Hash, Ghost and Gallopers or as it says here, Google hash Morris Fair team finder, I think, in quotes, and then Ghost and Gallopers. That's given a clue that you, people can search with that hashtag with some general text as well. So it might be Manchester, it might be uh, Clog Morris or whatever. So it doesn't ha just have to be the hashtags. So that was really useful. And then so the hashtags really important so if you click on this you're in YouTube you click on this what do you get well you get a YouTube search for the hashtag and here we see some of the videos it, it says there might be other related things so I'm just going to include those not just the hashtag and we get some of the videos so how do we improve the viewing figures well there are things the Morris Fed can do which is the stuff that I've described previously, but they're also the things that you can do. Because if you look at these three videos, this is fantastic. In a church, I've used, I've used this, the quality of the video was good. I was able to zoom in on my clip and adjust the light balance and the like. Um, it was very, very good. And this, as I mentioned previously, the lockdown. Oh yes, remember lockdown when we were being creative. And we couldn't go out and dance and so we got our cameras out into our gardens and took videos and maybe listening to the same music and put them together it's really really good and only 20 to 50 views of these these have the potential for being much valuable and but how do you, do you reuse these things which are now oh starting to get old so that's a great video could we agree on a hashtag Morris in churches or Morris in interesting places, something like that? Agree within a community. And then if people have an interest in that particular subject, it's not just you, people going to your things. You are part of that group. And then this one, well, I thought, yeah. So this was obviously a few years old. The quality of the phones wasn't as good then. But what a time it was, a lockdown video. So if we were to say, agree on a Morris lockdown creativity hashtag, then on the fifth anniversary of lockdown, we could say, who else? Look, um, promote something to local papers and says, five years ago, this is what we were doing. Not only us, but lots of Morris teams around the country, we were doing these type of things. So here's a potential way of generating some interest in 2025 on this type of dance, of this type of, of video clip. Which otherwise, how would you get people to say, here was a video of something that took place, you know, five years ago. It would be difficult, but there are creative ways in which we can do this. Sorry. Um, some other experiences with YouTube. Here is a video, and you probably know there might be related videos after watching this. It will go through on, on, onto these other ones, and these other ones, um, seven days, two days, uh, four days ago. So there are new videos which it will show. So this is why there will be more popularity for your new videos. In this way so if you were to continue to publish these things and I, I mentioned that there doesn't seem to be many lots of sites don't know on publishing the new videos but here is a reason why so just seven days got 140 views two days 239 and then the other thing I thought was interesting was there's a flaw dancers with how many is that is that 8.5 million views over seven years so it is dance, and maybe it is a bit of, oh, you might be interested in this type of dancing. But it also occurred to me was, in a way, this was the competition. This is the rivals for the viewers' eyeballs for the time. If they spend 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 
times 8.5 million views that's a lot of time people are spent watching this video when they could be watching one of our Morris videos so if we together can start to bump up the popularity of these things we'll get more eyeballs we'll get more exposure and hopefully more newcomers joining Morris sites and this related videos is really really important can be as Judith Proctor told me so she said an anonymous Morris video had a huge surge in hits after it was said to be related to this um, to this dance so look at this um, was it 37 uh, thousand subscribers 5.2 million views 1700 com comments and it's just three minutes long and it's quite nice and the stepping is quite impressive the, uh, um, and the music is good and it's quite colorful and a nice background there just outside somebody's home but it's good I have worth worth uh, worth a watch but what's in uh, relevance to us so this is a broom dance three minute long video published 10 years ago published on the Judith Proctor's personal account and it's had 2.213,000 views and 371 comments because of its association with that and so over 10 years it's still getting the hits so perhaps this is something we could aim for and I should say the, the video well it was taken 10 years ago so obviously the phone um, the cameras weren't as good then so it's not as high resolution but wow that is impressive so we could do this so I think maybe this is a goal 100,000 views could be achievable could be achievable it was interesting when I realized that was Judith Proctor's personal account and she's got other interests she's got a good blog not just Morris sword but other interests as well the anonymous Morris YouTube account most popular is at 965 so that's kind of good but not a different scale so this has made me think about things I'd encourage sides to have their own YouTube channel and publish them but also we need to recognize the value of individual YouTube channels and group YouTube channels it's not just about the fed the fed sides it's a richer environment we need to think about and so I started to look at who are the people who got great um, YouTube channels and so there was a there was a couple here uh, Morris um, Morris dancers uh, sorry, I can't read these things there were uh, John Harvey the Morris hub and, and the like so here is a Morris related YouTube channel so this is saying if you're interested in good videos here are some channels to subscribe to but that's people to speaking to individuals but also saying that there is are related to our interest is saying something to the YouTube algorithms as well oh and I should say that um, you can learn from these videos some of them are quite impressive so just have a look at these things because when you start to think about making your videos it doesn't have to be just the dance itself there's some creativity man without men without hats that sounds interesting as well so my plans for 2024 would be to it's what I'd like would be to have a, a weekly Facebook uh, video story so the 30 seconds click click published on say the Facebook uh, the Morris Feds Facebook page one a week uh, week one we might have poacher and there's some that I made um, about a year ago which I haven't published this is when I was experimenting those videos once I make I will be happy to give you the mp4 file so you can upload it to your own Facebook page or personal pages um, or alternatively you could make the videos as well and so over time we'll, I will develop a bit of expertise <laughs> 
and so we'll try and be a bit more creative with things but also have the opportunity to think about particular events like a recruitment events or you're a new side promoting not just the well-established sides but sides which are focusing on recruitment and you now I mentioned about the value from the Swanage Festival of having a video not just on the YouTube channel but also on a website as well and so you can um, embed videos on the Morris Fed website and we already do this so if we look at this I've been recording videos of zoom workshops and initially those were just on Morris uh, on YouTube channel but now they are on our website as well so here's the video here as well so this is value by having multiple entry points to the same content and I start to think should we embed sides promotional videos but I started I suddenly realized if we're going to make say 50 one a week or maybe even 100 uh, that would be very time consuming for me and then I realized well you can do it yourself so you can include your promo video in your um, profile and actually this is something I did a while ago hey marker rapper who are they so it's just saying a bit about the history and some of the dancing just a short one you could all do this and upload it oh and by the way when you make videos it doesn't just be have the dance it could be the fun bit as well so include clips of fools beasts props audiences and the like this was people a group of people in a pub in York who were laughing uproariously at the always funny plastic hand in the rapper sword dance Now, I'm talking about YouTube, and, and that's a bit old. We can learn from others, and in particular, maybe we can learn from the younger people, students and young, younger people. There's so much. So um, this was the Newcastle Kingsman first website set up in 1997. You can still find some of the older pages on the Internet Archive. So that's still, Kingsman are still have a website, but mostly now using Instagram and TikTok. So here was the Instagram page and they're getting thousands of views, but then the publishing on both Instagram and TikTok. And here we had, is this the smallest space the Kingsman have ever performed in? 1,700 views, the fire dance with over a thousand view. Uh, so Northwest Clog Morris, but with fire instead of slings. Um, and there are interests in these things. So TikTok is fascinating. Um, and it was a few years ago when I discovered Oxford University were doing amazing things with TikTok and I realised that you could have this talking head but transparency and then the May day becomes visible and the like. You can learn so much from these ways, from the ways that students in these cases are doing things. And Glastonbury, another great example of early users of TikTok. And again, it's not just dance, it's, you know, T-shirts and it's visual effects and posters and communities and, oh, practices. We ought to have more of these videos of practices, I would say, and video effects. And here was, I, I have a personal TikTok account and I subscribe to a whole range of Morris related videos a couple of people sides here and we have to workshop i think but dicky ducky was fantastic and he's pinned there's my side my old side which has about seven thousand six hundred views but beaten by tower ravens with twenty four thousand views so you want to reach people well this is happening look we have the evidence to say it's happening and how do you go about doing these things about making creative videos i don't know we need to have that discussion we need to progress the sharing of experiences and things that work but also things that don't work so i mentioned my plans so a, a, it's not published yet because i'm still need to discuss things but this was trying to 
progress these things a bit more. And then I realized I discovered that you can have collaborators on your playlist. So here's some that I've made and we'll have discussions with these sides again just to check they're happy with these things. But we could also say add your own short video to the Morris Fed playlist. You can obviously make your own videos and do what you want, but we have some advantages in the scale, the numbers of viewers of our Facebook pages and the like. So you can create videos and share these things, create videos about your size, but also with different angles on them. And well, we'll produce some guidelines. So we might say that they need to have some form of credit to the Morris Fed if you're if we're going to uh, publicize them and have them on our YouTube channel. And then that's just sides. But again, over a year, year and a half ago, I started to look at other ways of doing these things about rapper, a, a dance, but also the age, getting clips of people of different ages, of different genres and, and the like. This was when I was still trying to get a feel for the for the design issues and I realized that that Morris Fed is the world's largest blah 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 doesn't work on small phones or wherever it needs to be much shorter and the like and arguably the, the logo is taking up too much of the screen these things one gains from experience but there was two of those short videos but we might have other angles sites based in a particular area side dancing in unusual venues such as the church the fools beasts and animals the musicians all um, lockdown videos drone footage we just need the clip we need the clips we need people to be willing to do this and we can say to um, the potential dancers and younger people will see these things and yes so much potential uh, another idea uh, at events, promoting events. Here were two events, the Swanage Folk Festival I had mentioned, and then the Morris Fed's Day of Dance. So we need to find festivals and engage with festivals and hopefully find people who be understand where we're coming from and be willing to add some of our videos and search interfaces on festival websites. And then finally, this was my wife mentioned this. She's fear of flying and she was starting to look and discover this community of people who are really, really fascinated by planes taking off and landing and have lively discussions and loads and loads of views and likes and comments and, and the like. And I thought, oh yes, 2025, not next May, the May after the live Morris dancing, watch sites all around the UK, live dancing in various places around the country and the type of things that they might say, amazing dancing, nostalgia, where's the rapper, how do I learn, is there a side near me, fab, thanks to the Morris Fed for what a great idea. This is an idea, so this will be a big project, so we need a project team if we wanted to progress this. We need contacts with people who've got an interest and experience in doing these type of things. So this is something to build after this Zoom workshop. That's an idea. Just some other things. Um, I set up a Google form. I've had email discussions, but it would be nice to uh, from people who'd be interested in a video. So tell me send me some information name of your side things you might want to focus in where your videos are any questions that you might have and this really came about a discussion i had with old palace clark who said they were having an event and i said oh i could make a video for that but i ran out of time but i looked at the poster and i was thinking what are the angles it's an open evening keeping fit lifelong friends Morris dancing group, uh, live music, and then I. Okay, 
I'll I'll put pause there. But that illustrates the type of video I was thinking of making for Old Palace Clog, and I said we need the practice, the dance, and then something which demonstrates happy smiling people, and we could make some th something like that. Is that of interest? We need to carry on this chat. I set up a Facebook group, but it was private a, a while ago, and I can't change private to public. Some questions, do we want to have a public Facebook group on something like IT for the Morris Dance community, or an alternative? And I think if we did have such a thing, it would be good to have several mod moderators. It's not just all about me. I'm hoping to win the lottery at some stage and then disappear on a world cruise so it needs to be sustainable wide participation as many people out of interest if it's too small it won't have the sustainability to facilitate sharing and some of those questions that was raised earlier have a website do you have a job spec do you have a constitution uh, how do you address problems are the tools that are worth using? How much does it cost? All of those type of, type of issues are real issues and important issues. And so looking to the future, here are some things that sides can do, some things that the Morris Fed can do, and some notes. So I'm going to finish now. I've been talking for 40 minutes. I hope this is of interest. Please feel free to leave comments or questions down in the comments below. Thank you.